Hey there! Good day, good afternoon, or good night, depending, of course, when you watch this video. Welcome! Spider King here, with another Let's Chat session. Now, I'm not going to be too long with this. I'm going to try and keep it brief as possible, because the Pokemon Company themselves, even the leakers themselves, were right, and I hate admitting that. Hell, I had to admit, I had to admit it to myself, because I even put it on my board back there, which you probably can't see from the camera. By the way, I got a board. But it basically says what I just said, that they were right. And the Pokemon Company has been basically hinting at, like, hey, there's this new Pokemon. Uh, we're not going to say right away, but keep in tune. Like, keep, stay tuned. We're going to tell you about it. So, let's see what they got. I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to what they, they're they going to try to show us. Because, like, everybody's been like, hey, you're, you're saying its name is Grafi Eye. What is it based off? An Eye Eye? What's it going to look like? Everybody's giving their interpretations. It's like, okay, well, you might be close on the money. You never know. Let's find out. I've traveled across the land collecting and recording photos of these mysterious patterns. Sounds like it's being narrated by Sir David Attenborough. ...markings and observe the creature who draws them. It's called Grafii. Interesting. So I ventured deep into the forest in search of some existing markings. I hope there's a chance that a Grafii will come out where a pattern has already been drawn. When I finally found this cluster of markings, it was the perfect place to set up my cameras. I used a camera that works great in the I feel like we're taking back all the way back to Glimwood Tangle when we were being introduced to Galarian Ponyta. Anybody remember that? Woo! But what's that like? What? What is it? A scatterbug comes into frame. It's been lured by a sweet scent coming from the marking. This pattern also acts as a trap for other Pokemon. Really? Look! We caught a bit of its eye, and there's its tail. Here it is, our Grafi eye. It's eating berries in front of the camera. And we caught it making a mark. Amazing. Look how focused it is. And the colors of the pattern matches the berries it's eating. We can clearly see that the color Grafi eye paints with depends on the Pokemon's diet. And you see here, it's marking over the top of the strategy pattern that was drawn before. It's claiming territory over another Grafi eye. Ah, here's where it was startled, which made it stop and disappear. So frustrating. I couldn't see it anywhere, but it triggered the motion sensor light. And lo and behold, my backup camera caught our Grafi eye out in the open. So incredible. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Okay, so I guess what to note from that would be the fact that Grafi Eye literally spray paint spits. And oh wow, there's so much there's so much to talk about real quick. Hold on, let's see it's actual in motion. Motion. Poison normal type. Grafi eye. <laughs> oh, that's neat. I like that. I really do. And of course, I had the site re upload to be sure. This time. Because I know for certain that it's going to be probably like, ah, oh, nah, it's not going to be there yet. But here we have Grafi Eye. Grafi Eye is a moody Pokemon with a, oh god, here we go, more big words, fastidious disposition. It doesn't form packs, preferring to roam alone. It's constantly caught up in its territorial struggles with other Pokemon. Okay, one thing to quickly note. Everything on this little guy speaks out and says hoodlum, graffiti artist. Hell, he spat at the camera like spray paint. His fingers and his actions, and like his demeanor was just like, hey, I'm a graffiti artist. This is what I do. His hat, his literal ears are covered in a freaking hoodie. This is a hoodie with a little hood. Look at all this right here, just a little hoodie. When I saw that, and yes, I did actually see it beforehand. So, uh oh, spoilers. When I saw this at first hand, I'm like, this little guy is like scrap 
Scraggy and Scrafty with their little baggy pants and then Scrafty just being a hoodlum. And when I saw that, I'm like, you know what? I want him on my team. Just because he's so interesting. His design is just, speaks out hoodlum. He's a he's a nocturnal eye eye. His eyes are the exact, like, the pig, like, when, a, um, when you shine a light on an animal that has photoreceptive eyes, the tap it loosen them. When you, when you shine a light on the eyes, they glow. If you have a cat or a dog, you'll notice that. Same thing right here. So basically saying he's nocturnal. I like that. The toxic monkey Pokemon. He's about 2'4", 60 pounds, unburdened, poison touch. That's good. I like to have it with the I'd love it to have it with the ability poison touch. Let's see. It sets tra sets up uh, poison traps around its territory. Grafi Eye is nocturnal. Once the sun sets, it licks its hands and fingers to cover them with poison, then uses them to draw patterns on the trees it's in its territory. The poisonous saliva is used as paint to paralyze bug Pokemon, hence what the narrator was talking about. That's interesting. Which draws in with a sweet saliva, saliva is a sweet fragrant scent. When Dawn draws near Grafi Eye, goes to collect the incapacitated pr That's messed up, but very intuitive. I like that. Oh, man. When Grafi Eye senses danger, its poisonous saliva becomes even more toxic. I mean, he's basically flicking everybody off with his middle finger, but hey. How more toxic can you get? Other than showing somebody that, eh. This Pokemon specializes in using its poisonous saliva, which changes color depending on what the Pokemon eats, as the narrator also said. To attack foes by spitting at them or slashing them, after coating its claw saliva, Grafi senses danger when it's poison. Yeah, I'm recording! Yes! I'm almost done! So, yeah, its poison rapidly becomes concentrated, resulting in a potent toxin that, once absorbed, will immobilize victims for three whole days. Some weird reason I can see Team Rocket having this on their team, like when the series, because it's obviously going to happen, they're going to have this on their team. No doubt. They made, they made it specifically for their team. Except for more Pekko. That, that's a different story. Yeah, definitely gonna add more. Uh, just gonna, I'm gonna definitely gonna add Grafi Eye to my team, along with Sid Titan and also their newest addition, Salizard, or Salazar. I'm just joking. I'm fucking up his name on purpose. Cyclozar. Mm. I didn't do a video on this one simply because it came out of nowhere, just like Grafi Eye, and it's like. Literally, they, they came out with it after the um, TCG tournament, and they was like, ah, here's a new Pokemon, here's his new ability. It drops its tail, called a new move called Shed Tail, which acts as a baton pass and a substitute, which in itself is a pretty cool, like, if you're into, like, strategy parts of the game, like, I know a lot of folks are, especially in the community, then this is the Pokemon for you. Also, everybody's saying it. It's the transitional form between Coridon and Miridon. What could it mean? No clue. Even after seeing it when it came out, I still have no clue myself. Also, it's a dragon normal type. You know what? The only dragon normal type I want is Trampa. You can't convince me otherwise. Can't. So, Cyclozar. Real, just again, real quick, after getting off of Grafi Eye. Cyclozar. The Mount Pokemon, Dragon Normal, has the ability Shed Skin, 5'3", 138 pounds. This Pokemon lives with humans. This Pokemon lived in many households in the Paldea region since ancient times. It has a mild disposition, and people riding Cyclozar excuse me, are very common, a very common sight, hence this right here. And being ridden by... They're, they usually they they like it because the the person riding them is warm, and they're lizards. Makes sense. To stave off the cold, yeah, basically what he just said. And their body is optimized for running. So basically, think Jurassic Park and pronated Velociraptor, always running like this. 
instead of the actual way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Here's your word for the day, kids. Pronate. It doesn't mean procreate. It just means a position of which the arm is made like for any theropod or non-avian dinosaur. Hell, birds are non-pronated. Word of the day, pronate! <laughs> your old Uncle Spider King is going to tell you all about a different word of the day. I'm just... Oh, it's too... Oh, it's too early for this. Back to Pokemon. Cyclozar, uh, Cyclozar can sprint over 70 miles an hour while carrying humans. It's extremely hard head and thick lilt, uh, lilt tail are not only useful for maintaining balance, but absorbing shocks while sprinting. They also provide effective ways of attacking during battle. So yeah, hence why the new move and all that. So that was Cyclozar. I don't care. <laughs> That's why I didn't do a video about it, because it, it's designed... It's supposed to be like the middle, middle child of Coridon and Miridon, like just the middle transition. You're riding on a little cycle. I don't, I even when I saw it, I did not like it. It's slowly growing on me, but Grafai Eye, the little hoodlum, that's where it's at. And he's going on my team with the Titan. Well, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little brief Let's Chat session with Spider King. Join me next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, also, don't forget to hit that bell. It doesn't cost much. It's not going to cut your arm off. <laughs> the minute you touch that mouse, it's like, maybe I should ring that. Just give it a, give it a click. And I'll see all you dudes and do this next time. Bye.